say concept i want to say a massive thank you for joining me into this tutorial and i hope you all are good thank you so much and to my returning subscribers i say you are the best if you are new here you are highly welcome as you can see on your screen today i shall be showing you how to make a great captain bubble with plaques and i hope you will like it just stay back and watch to the end for this tutorial the basic measurements needed are my shoulder line that is the measurement from the center back of my neck down to my sleeve length and uh, this line is the measurement from the nape of my neck down to my above the knee which is 36 and I added half an inch to it while the next line is the below the knee level which is a uh, 40 and a half inches and then the length of my dress with the fabric I have here is a 56 inches together with the allowance. So without wasting much of our time, let's get started. The fabric here is a lightweight lycra fabric, okay? And then if you need be, if you are placing it on food, always consider the stretchy part of it, okay? So what I did here was I placed the stretchy part around my body as you can see it stretches here why the non stretchy parts i place it vertically on my body okay that is straight from my shoulder down to the length of my dress okay from this part i had the three quarter inches to it because i'll be having a zipper allowance to it okay so back is longer than the front piece, okay? From this folded edge, I'll be placing my neck width and my neck depth. My neck width is a three inches, while my neck depth is three inches for the front. For the back piece, my neck depth is a one inch allowance, which I've done. From this folded edge, I'll be placing my sleeve length, which is a 25 inches. This part where the two where I came down by two inches, I will draw a line to where the neck width stops. From where the two inches stops, I'll be taking my sleeve circumference. My sleeve circumference is uh, 11 inches divided by 2, making 5 and a half. I'll be handing half an inch to it for joining, making 6 inches. That's it. So where the 6 inches stopped, I will be coming in by 1 and a half. From the below the knee, which is uh, 4 inches, 4 inches below the above the nail. I'll be placing the one quarter of my hip. The one quarter of my hip is 13 inches. I'll be adding one inches. Then I will now take it from this part. I will now connect it to this uh, below the knee level. So whatever I have here, I'll be adding two inches to it. Whatever you have here, you can place it on the hemline of the dress. But for this tutorial, I want to give it a little bit of a line on the hemline. So I'll be adding two inches to this 14 inches, making it 16 inches. So I'll place 16 inches on the hemline. From the folded edge here, yeah. then I'll connect it like this. That's it. I will go ahead and cut it out now, but I'll be cutting out the back neckline first. This is the front face. After cutting it, this is the look. So I'll set this aside. For the back piece, 
I have a two pieces now because I've stated the back open so you can see we take the placket for the placket now the length I have a 24 inches length including my allowance by width I have a 4 inches unfold that would be 2 inches so I will be stitching it up by half an inch okay so when I'm done I will have a one and a half inches left okay. so having done that I'll go ahead and I stitch it up I will stitch the back and I place the placket or fold like this and give it a half an inch stitch okay so for the placket I will go ahead now and stitch it like I said earlier on half an inch if you don't want to get confused you can go ahead and mark it out you mark out half an inch then you take it when you are done you trim up the excess part of it when you are done stitching it you take your iron and press the seam in the middle like this you press it flat make sure the seam line is in the middle okay and give it a good press so after pressing it this is how it's going to look you press the seam line into the middle of the placket okay so you come to the edge you take one side edge then you nail it half an inch up you go up by half an inch go up by half an inch then from where the half an inch top you form a diagonal line like this so when you are done on both sides you have a like this shape okay so i'll go ahead and then stitch it i'll follow the line I don't this how it's going to look like V. So I'll go ahead now and turn it inside out. So after stitching it, the same line should be in the middle. As you can see here so I'll go ahead and give it a good press again so after hiring it this way you get you have something like tie I will now set it aside and proceed to the main dress and this is the back so for the main fabric now, I will take the back piece. Remember we slitted the back piece, so I will align both together. Then I will take my zip. We leave half an inch from this upper part, from the neckline. You come down by half an inch. Then you mark where the zip is going to stop. From there, you take your stitch. stitching it up you go ahead and place your zipper 
So after stitching it, you should have something like this. So after folding it into two equal parts now, I'll go ahead and then use my chalk to mark out, to give it a mark and stop where the placket stop. Assuming this is a cotton fabric, you just give it a press and a form a fold. But this is stretch material, there's no way you can do that. So you open it up. We form our center now. Now go ahead and place the plaquettes in the center. You use your pin to secure it. So I will take it to my sewing machine now and give it just one quarter. You, you stitch it on the edge. You give it to this upper part. You repeat the same on this side again. I can't do nothing better than spending my day with you. My life's sunny and better, girl, when I'm with you. She illuminates so bright like a star in the skylines. She got the looks, the good, oh boy, I need a so bad in my life. Shawty, where you wanna go, 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 go? London, Paris, Tokyo, oh, shawty, we could go. Don't need no luggage, na 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 na. After joining this, I begin to look now, and this is the inside. I've done pinning it. This is the front, and this is the back. I'll go ahead now and give it half an inch on the shoulder line, half an inch, then one inch on both sides. After that, I'll go ahead and hem the that part of it, tidying up the sleeve, then tidying up the neckline. So, guys, this is the finished look. Isn't that beautiful? I've had the button. This is a cover button. I've untucked it. This is the neckline. This is the zipper. And this is the down parts. The sleeve. Let me know for the inside for you to see. Neat. This is the inside. And this is the back inside. So guys, I'll be using this airband to spice it up. Okay? Isn't that beautiful as well? Yeah. So I want to believe this video has been helpful. I thank you for watching to the end. Don't forget to share this video. Give me a thumbs up. And if you have not subscribed, kindly do so. Okay, let me know what you think in the comment section regarding this dress. And if you have any questions, do let me know as well. I will see you in my next video. I love you. Bye.